Hey guys, Sophia here with turquoisetoffee.wordpress.com and I'm back with another video. Today we're talking about the 2022 IFBB Pro League Muscle Contest Brazil Pro All the Women's Events Bikini, Wellness, Figure, Women's Physique, and Women's Bodybuilding. So exciting. These women were incredible. And as a reminder, I've got another recap coming your way from last weekend, the M Pro Classic. So make sure you subscribe, you don't want to miss it. Okay, so in terms of Olympia, this show is considered Tier 4. So the winner qualifies for Olympia, 2nd through 5th receive the points you see at the bottom, and at the end of the qualification period, the top 3 in all of the points go to Olympia. Amazing. So starting with women's bodybuilding, there were two competitors. In 1st place, Levina, Levina and in 2nd, Alcyon. So here's Alcyone in second place, and she's got a great shape, beautiful sweep to her quads, nice small waist, great lats, and fabulous shoulders. Like So she's got this awesome V taper, really nice X frame, just fantastic. I think she could have even more conditioning to show off the detail in her legs even more. We could see a little bit more of the six pack coming through. I also wouldn't mind if the biceps kind of had a bit more roundness coming up to match these amazing shoulders, but I think her size is fabulous and her overall silhouette is really good too. I think she looks really, really good. Oh, maybe the suit bottom could come up a little higher closer to her belly button also. I think that would be really flattering to show off how small her waist is. But overall, I think she looks really incredible. Okay, Levina in first place, amazing. So I noticed the lats, just how amazingly round they are, so full, so large. And then I noticed, of course, these giant legs, beautiful sweep on the outside, gorgeous curve on the inside, some nice detail by the knee. I, I wouldn't mind even more detail coming up the leg, but clearly she looks amazing. Great abs, nice small waist, fabulous posing, really showing off that X frame. Side by side, I think Levina's posing is superior here. You really notice the X on her frame. You She's showing off the sweep of her quads a little bit better. Um, they both have tremendous small waist with really beautiful lats. So I think the V tapers are really fantastic, but you notice that gorgeous X frame a little bit better with our first place winner. Same with behind. I think her posing really shows off her shape a little bit better. The, the quads look sensational from behind, really this beautiful curve. Um, I think she's showing off her glutes beautifully. They look really firm. They look super defined, nice shape. I think um, our second place winner could just tweak her posing a little bit, maybe bend the knees, separate the feet, uh, really pop the glutes, but wow, gorgeous upper back, really nice small waist from both competitors, fabulous delts, amazing. This was a great women's bodybuilding show. Okay, so in terms of Olympia, Levina is now qualified and Alcyone has four points. Okay, pro figure. In first place, Michelle, second, Sime, third, Diane, fourth, Elaine, and fifth, Camilla. So here's Camilla in fifth. Love the lipstick. Looks great with the suit. She's got a beautiful V taper. You can see her lats look amazing. Really small waist. She's posing beautifully to show off that gorgeous shape. Nice sweep to her quads. Great size in her legs. I feel like she could have a little bit more gloss to really make those muscles shine. I think in comparison, She's not as 3D looking as some of the other ladies, um, but she's got nice conditioning in her abs. Uh, you've got some nice detail coming through on her legs. And overall, I think she just looks really good. A great red suit, fabulous. Beautiful earrings too, wow. Okay, Elaine in fourth. 
amazing V taper and amazing conditioning. Holy smokes. Lots of detail in her legs. Wow. Just so many lines and grooves all the way from her knee up to her the suit. Incredible. Her abs are so well defined. Her V taper looks awesome. Her waist looks really small. Great shoulders. Um, I do think she's leaning forward a little bit too much. I prefer if she was a bit more upright, just so we could see the abs even better. Um, but man, her V taper looks awesome. Her delts look amazing. She looks fantastic. All right, Diane in third. You can see she's standing a little bit more upright, so it just gives you a really nice view of her overall silhouette. The V taper looks beautiful. Her quad sweep looks amazing. I like the glossiness in her muscles. You really see the sheen and the shine in the legs. It just makes all the muscles pop, and it looks so beautiful. Great abs. Gorgeous lats, really nice delts. Um, wow, just a beautiful V. I love how high her suit bottoms come up. It really showcases how small her waist is. And she's got gorgeous legs. I think the sweep of her quads, it would be great if they could come up a little bit higher up here. Like I'm, I'm noticing it's quite straight and then the sweep starts lower by her knees. Maybe that's even a, a posing tweak she could do if you put her heels together a bit more. Um, but man, I think she looks really good. She looks tight. She looks firm. She looks solid. Gorgeous. Okay, Sime in second. Wow, her shape looks so good. She looks really thick, just so muscular. Her upper body, the lats and the shoulders have such a beautiful balance really nice size in her arms too so she's just super broad super wide really full a nice small waist with great definition in her abs and then fabulous legs a lot of muscle great definition i love the calf muscles as well i think she's got some gorgeous balance within the leg balance between top to bottom oh, she looks really good beautiful hair. I think she could have gone for a bolder lip myself to, to really pull in the red. Um, man, she looks really, really good. Okay, Michelle in first. Her conditioning is so amazing. Like her legs look just ripped. You've got these lines. You've got the striations. Her glutes look crazy defined, even from the front. Her calves, are, like, look at all the vascularity. She looks tight. She looks amazing. Her abs are so flat. Her waist is super small. I love the cut of her bottoms. Her V taper looks incredible in this pose. And her shoulders look awesome. Really broad, really full. Like, just super pumped. Great biceps. She looks insane the conditioning is next level i think that really pushes her apart um the suit is a beautiful color it's vibrant it looks gorgeous with her hair i do think the eyeshadow is lovely but maybe a little bit too much she could have done a bit more subtle with the blue but i think overall i'm just so impressed mostly with the conditioning but the overall shape is beautiful Okay, so side by side, yeah, I'm drawn to Michelle for sure. I think her conditioning is insane. Her legs are so defined, striations in the quads. Her shoulders are like amazingly rounded. They're 3D. They're like popping off of her body. Just gorgeous. Nice small waist, beautiful abs. Um, Camilla in fifth, I think her legs could be posed a little differently. Um, there's a lot of space in between her knees. I feel like the other ladies are pulling their legs a little closer together. It's a little bit more flattering to the shape, but I'm really noticing her V taper in this front pose. Uh, Elaine, I think looks fabulous as well. Great V taper. Diane, I'm noticing her legs and the gorgeous conditioning, great abs. Sime in second has a really nice shape, very good balance between top to bottom. But Michelle, 
the shoulders, the V taper, the small waist, and then the conditioning are just awesome. And I also find from behind, Michelle is really quite exceptional. And I think it's that conditioning. You, you see the calf muscles, you see lines in her hamstrings, her adductors, her glutes look different than everybody else's. They're so defined. Her tie-ins are like completely outlined. Her waist is tiny and her lats look incredible from behind. Um, beautiful shoulders. I think the next person, honestly, that I'm drawn to from behind is Elaine in fourth with her amazing V taper, but you notice the conditioning so much on Michelle's frame. Her glutes are unlike anybody else's. So a fabulous top five, but definitely a beautiful victory for Michelle. So in terms of Olympia, Michelle is qualified, Simi has four points, Diane has three, Elaine has two, and Camilla has one. Okay, pro bikini, exciting. In first place, Isa, second, Christiane, third, um, Jessica, fourth, Amanda, and fifth, Deborah. So Deborah in fifth looks amazing. She's got a great hourglass shape and beautiful delts. It's probably the first thing I noticed on her was how gorgeously rounded they are. Nice definition. There's a bit of an outline. Really good balance with her beautiful glute. And she's got nice conditioning too. Like I like all of these lines in the side of her torso. Beautiful line coming down her hip nice curves in her leg. Like I think she looks really good. Substantial size in her leg too. So she's got this beautiful hamstring, really nice calf. Overall, I think she looks really gorgeous. Um, great hourglass, beautiful shoulders. I really like the back shoulder as well. So a fabulous fifth place in my opinion. Okay, Amanda in fourth. Awesome as well. What I notice on her is this super small waist, really flat stomach, and gorgeous detail in her glute. I love this groove in the side of her hip. She's got a nice curve to the back of her hamstring. Uh, I wouldn't mind a little bit more size in the legs and a little bit more curve on the top of the quad in this back leg, and even a little bit more detail in the arm. Um, maybe it's just because she's twisting, she's kind of rotating the elbow to face the judge. We're kind of losing some of the shape of the bicep and the tricep, but you see it beautifully in this back arm. I love her straight, long, sleek hair, but of course I always prefer it to the back so we can see the lat a little bit better. And um, it, when the hair is off to the back, it allows you to see the hourglass more. However, you are really seeing how wide the shoulder comes out with a nice tiny waist and this beautiful round glute. So I think she looks awesome and amazing fourth place. Okay, Jessica in third. The first thing I notice is her posing. I think she's doing a fabulous job of creating the most beautiful hourglass shape. The belly button is what I think is different. So here she's really got the beautiful arch in her back and her glute looks so high. And then her belly button is almost pointing downwards. Whereas at the Brazil, she was really sideways, which did a great job of showing off how small her waist was. And then at Romania, she was a little bit more at the similar angle to here, but her belly button is more level. Whereas here, I feel like she's really tilted her pelvis. It's showing off the hourglass. It's highlighting the waist and it's really showing off the lat and the shoulder. So somehow she's kind of combined the way she posed at the last two shows where she was top five to really create this beautiful shape. I love it. Her legs look awesome. There's a little bit more separation. So she's created a nice wide base, small waist, and a wide, beautiful upper body. Like her posing looks really cool. I think it's really showcasing what we want to see. Her suit is beautiful. It's so crystal. That hint, a subtleness of the purple showing through with a bit of blue. Just gorgeous. Great hair amazing conditioning. Her waist looks so trim, beautiful obliques. I wouldn't mind if the six pack was a bit more if she could, 
but great detail in her legs. Love this detail up here in the back leg. Just awesome. Okay, Christiane in second. My gosh, I am so impressed by her tiny waist. Amazing conditioning. So much detail in her abs. Her oblique is like insanely defined. Great detail coming down her leg. Nice detail by the, her knee in the back leg. Beautiful arms. And again, it's a small tweak to the posing, and it looks really good. Um, at the Brazil show, she was facing a lot more sideways, but here she's really opened up her chest, so we see more of her back arm. The shoulders are gorgeous. Her lats look beautiful. The hourglass is so highlighted. I think it looks really good. Um, the suit is gorgeous as well. I do think the blue eyeshadow is a little too much again i would be a little bit more subtle with the blue i totally love the blue eyeshadow but just a little bit less um she looks fantastic really nice abs honestly the the tininess of her stomach is exceptional okay and now in first place isa the pictures are getting teeny tiny i'll zoom in in a second but you can see she's just rocking it three first place back to back I think her shoulders look incredible. She just looks so confident. Beautiful hourglass shape. Her waist is tiny. Her glute is amazing. Fabulous shape. She's just really bringing it and looks amazing at every single show, but particularly recently. So here she is, a little bit more zoomed up. Her obliques look amazing. Her waist is so small. Just the hourglass shape is un. Beatable. Uh, beautiful conditioning with this little groove in her hip. Nice amount of lines showing through on her back leg. I think her legs are looking very lean. They're not overly developed. Just a gorgeous shape. Really nice curves in her hamstring. Beautiful bright blue bikini. She looks just gorgeous. So here's everybody side by side. And you know what? To me, it comes down to first and second, honestly. I think it's the tiny waist and just the super exaggerated hourglass shape. But Issa's overall silhouette is just so amazing. Her waist is so teeny, and it's just such an S curve. The glutes come out beautifully, the waist comes in beautifully, and the delts are so aligned with the glute her conditioning her tiny stomach wow but everybody side by side has some crazy shapes christiane's abs look amazing jessica's shoulders look really beautiful wow beautiful top five and from behind oh my gosh so isa's legs look really good i love the detail she's getting here in her adductor muscles her glutes look super round even in the inside of her glutes i think they look so full tiny waist and just the most amazing hourglass shape um, jessica i think could have her hair a little longer i think it would make the illusion of even more of the hourglass because we would have even more of a narrowness in her lower back Amanda, I think her hair is a bit too long. It's resting a bit too much on her glutes. I think Christiane and Issa and Deborah have the perfect hair length, just really showing off the smallness of their backs and the largeness of their shoulders and their beautiful round delts. But man, Issa has some gorgeous conditioning and just an overall beautiful shape. So, Isa was already qualified, Christiane was already qualified, Jessica's up to 12, Amanda has two, and Deborah has one. Okay, pro women's physique. In first place, Natalia, second, Elisama, third, Anna, fourth, Nayana, and fifth, Anna. All right, so Anna in fifth has amazing size. She looks so X-shaped. Great delts, beautiful lats, a nice small waist, and amazing legs. Holy smoke, so much size. 
great detail in the bottom of the leg, but I wish that the conditioning showed that detail even more up her thigh, into the abs a bit more. Maybe if she had a bit more gloss, a little bit more sheen, we could see some of these muscles popping in her upper body. So I think she's got amazing size, great silhouette, but just needs a bit more conditioning to show it off. Beautiful posing. Fantastic. Okay, Nayana in fourth. Again, amazing detail in her abs. Her She looks so vascular. Her arms look awesome. Great size and shape in her biceps and her triceps. Um, I don't think the legs are being shown off as well as they could be. With a little bit more detail, a little bit more conditioning, we'd see more lines and grooves up into the quads. Um, I think her suit could come up a little higher to show off her small waist, but I love the color. I love that she's got some detail. The, the, the blue in her nail polish is coordinating. The eyeshadow is coordinating, though again, I think it could be a bit more subtle with the blue. Blue, I think, just shows up so vibrantly with the dark foundation of the face that it needs to be very delicately approached. Um, but I think her abs are incredible. She's got a gorgeous shape and just needs a little bit more conditioning. And clearly she wasn't quite in the pose yet, but I wanted to show you her more front position. All right, Anna in third, amazing legs. Holy smokes, great size, beautiful conditioning all the way up from her knee to the hip. Great abs, amazing lats. Wow, what a shape. Um, I think she could have a little bit more shoulder in this front pose just to really balance off with the lats, but I'm so impressed by her shape. I'm not sure what's going on with her suit right here. It looks like something is um, not quite tucked up, like a, like a tag or a piece of padding maybe. Um, her posing looks beautiful. A brighter lip for sure. I think she a, a more bold red would have been amazing, but I'm so impressed by her conditioning. And man, her silhouette looks amazing. Okay, Ellie Sama in second place looks insane. I love her shoulders. I love her traps. I think she's got insane, beautiful triceps. Wow, great conditioning, gorgeous sweep to her quads. Although I'm not seeing that much detail in the leg itself, in the quad muscle, gorgeous shape, but just not enough detail. Maybe we'll see it a little better in uh, the lineup photo, but you can see her suit looks beautiful, gorgeous contrast against her skin tone, fabulous details. She's got some a lovely nail polish, beautiful shape in her calf muscles just gorgeous. The reason I have this question mark here is I couldn't find any other photos from contests in this qualification period, but she has a lot more points than I expected. So either I am just forgetting a show or there's a typo in the points standing. So if you guys are remembering another show that Ellie Sama has done that I'm just forgetting, let me know in the comments. You guys know so much. You have great memories. So I look forward to seeing the comment section. All right. And now in first place is Natalia. Beautiful across the board as usual. Amazing ab definition. Great posing. I think her arms look beautiful. Her shoulders are so popping. Just a gorgeous delt, great lats, nice pinching in of her waist, although I don't think this is the smallest waist we've seen. Um, I, that could just be the posing. She's a little bit twisted towards the back. You can see this back shoulder is not quite as lateral as we usually see. Um, I also think that the conditioning is, <laughs> believe it or not, not as crazy as typical. I feel like even though we're seeing an amazing definition in her abs, the legs don't quite have as much detail as we normally see. Whether that's just the pose or the definition itself, the conditioning could be a little bit more in the pulling out some of that detail. Either way, she still looks incredible. Great V shape, great X shape overall. Amazing suit, gorgeous hair. Beautiful as always from Natalia. Okay, so everybody side by side, we've got some amazing legs. I'm really drawn to Anna. Um, I think Natalia's abs stand out as well as her lats. 
Alisama's arms are so impressive. This is just a gorgeous front pose from everyone. Um, beautiful abs. But now from behind, I'm really noticing Natalia's tiny waist and the gorgeous detail and definition in the upper back. I think Anna has some fabulous size, but we're not quite seeing the detail in the middle of her back here. Uh, Elisama has an amazing back, but I don't think her glutes are as well defined and conditioned as Natalia. So Natalia has the upper back, the small waist, the amazing glutes, and beautiful definition running into her legs. Kind of the combination of the top three, all of their strengths together, and Natalia nails it. Beautiful X shape, beautiful V taper, great conditioning. Okay, so in terms of Olympia, Natalia was already qualified. Elisama, they've got her at nine points. So again, I'm just help me out in the comment section. Uh, Anna has three, Nay Anna has two, and Anna has one. Okay, pro wellness in first place, Rayanne, second, Giselle. Third, Michelle. Fourth, Marcella. And fifth, Tarsilla. Okay, so Tarsilla in fifth looks beautiful. I'm really noticing the size in this back leg, the beautiful curve in her quad. Uh, she's got some nice detail down by her kneecaps. Nice shape coming through on this hip. I do find she's a little bit facing too forward so I'm not really getting a good view of her hourglass shape or the smallness of her waist even though I'm seeing some beautiful abs but that could just be where the photographer is in condition in relation to the judges she could be showing off a beautiful sideways s curve to the judges um, nice suit though I do feel like it could be a little bit more coverage in the top, top triangles um, beautiful lipstick, nice hair, just gorgeous. I love how much of this amazing delt we're seeing too. So beautiful fifth place. Okay, Marcella in fourth. Wow, first thing I see is this amazing glute and massive muscle development in her lower body. Tiny waist and very lovely delts. A uh, little bit too much hair in the front for my liking, but you can still see she's got a beautiful shape, really nice trim small waist, but man, her lower body really stands out. Very um, large muscles in her legs. I think conditioning could be even more to show off some of those details in the leg, although I'm really loving how much you get to see in this back leg and her abs look awesome. So... We'll take a look a little bit more in the lineup, but I think she looks really incredible. I'm very impressed by her size. Okay, Michelle. Oh my gosh, this is the best Michelle I think we have seen. Her conditioning looks crazy. Look at how much detail we're seeing in her legs. She's got so much vascularity. She's got detail up in this hip. The line coming down. Look at these lines in her hamstring. We did not have that at Rio. The back leg is showing so much detail. We did not have that at the Monterey or the Rio. Like, wow, crazy conditioning for Michelle. I'm so impressed. Her size looks even bigger as well. I think she's put on some muscle in her quads. Oh, I am floored. She looks incredible. And her posing is awesome. She's really showing off how small her waist is. She's got this great curve in her back, beautiful delts. She's just showing an amazing levelness in her shoulders. So I think you get this gorgeous look at her broad upper body. The lats, the small waist, and then, man, the glute, the detail, the quads. I'm so impressed. I'm almost speechless. She looks so good. Okay, Giselle in second place. First time we're not seeing her in the first place position. So that's incredible. Just goes to show what a stiff competition this was. She looks amazing as usual. Great abs beautiful glute. I love this detail coming down her hip. Um, her hamstrings look great. Quads look awesome. Beautiful detail in this back leg. I don't think we've seen that before. Whether it's the lighting or just her conditioning overall is awesome at this show. 
loving this back leg, love her abs. Um, I still think that her arm is coming out a little too far and I'm not crazy about this dangly bracelet. I never noticed it before, but here I'm finding it a, just a tad bit distracting. Um, but overall, I think her hair is lovely. Her posing otherwise looks really nice. Beautiful abs, beautiful curve, really nice shape to her glute. But man, first place, Rayanne, great glute, great lower body, beautiful upper body. And that's what I noticed in the lineup. She's got some gorgeous size in her arms. Her delts have great definition, great size, amazing muscle mass in her upper body. So you notice the lat, you notice the small waist with the beautiful abs, and then great balance. Even though I know the wellness girls have more in the lower body, I'm still noticing a balance between the upper body development and the lower body development. Great detail in her quads, you know, coming up, there's some grooves, there's some lines, there's some detail by the knees. Amazing. Okay, so here's what I mean about Rayanne. You really notice the size in her upper body. Amazing delts, great lats, beautiful small waist. She's showing off that S curve. The glute has a great outline and a beautiful hamstring. I think the size in her legs is amazing. Michelle is comparative, I think, in the, the size of her quads. I think Giselle is a little bit more... Uh, has a little bit less size than Rayanne. Her legs are really well developed. She's showing off that shape beautifully. But what I'm really liking and what I'm really noticing is the upper body development really balancing out well with her lower body. All right, and now from behind. Wow, gorgeous size from all of these ladies in the glutes. Um, Tarsilla has some fabulous shape, though I do think she's bending over a little bit too much and it's kind of flattening the top of her glutes. Uh, Marcella, some fabulous detail on the side, really nice. The same with Tarsilla, some gorgeous conditioning. You're seeing a lot of detail in their glute ham tie-ins and their adductors. Rayanne, I really noticed the sweep of her quads, the shape, the gorgeous roundness up top, and the beautiful glute ham tie-ins on the side. I think Giselle's ham tie-ins are not quite as defined as Rayanne's. Uh, Michelle has some fantastic size, great sweep, beautiful calves, but I think Rayanne just had that gorgeous overall shape with the beautiful hourglass and her delts look amazing. So wow, what an incredible wellness top five. So Rayanne is qualified, Michelle was already qualified, Michelle has seven, Marcella has two, and Tarsilla has one. So that's it for this show. I've got another recap coming your way, the Empro Classic, and there are four shows coming up this weekend, Governor's Cup, Republic of Texas, Mr. Big Evolution Pro Portugal, and the Korea Pro Bikini. So make sure you subscribe, I'll be back with recaps of all those shows as soon as I can. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Comment below with your thoughts on all these beautiful competitors. And come find me. I'm at turquoisetoffee.wordpress.com and of course on Instagram at turquoisetoffee.